there really aren't many other than like scissors or yeah you know there's a few more that are really graphic but there really aren't many slipknot songs that are like dude that's that's disturbing huge advocate of masturbating i find my urge to kill dwindles <laughs> after a good nut Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on Rappers React They're talking about us on YouTube Hollywood six, it look like I do magic Maybe he's practicing voodoo I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React Almost went too far. I swear you're gonna hit that camera one day. I'm gonna jump right through the camera. <laughs> Smoked up. <laughs> what up? All right, I got some trivia for you here. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Don't jump through the camera though, okay? I'll try not to. Uh, what was the name of Sting's first solo album? Oh, I was thinking The Wrestler. Lord. <laughs> the reverse DDT. <laughs> Sting's first solo album. Good mm -hmm. question. All right. Roxanne? Uh, it's actually called The Dream of the Blue Turtles. Really? Yeah. I would have never got that Ooh, one. Okay, how about this one? All right. Who was the first musical host, host of Saturday Night Live? Uh, is there... You just... Oh, Roxanne? No. Sting! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me get Was he one. really? Yeah, that's what it says uh. here. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. Who was the first African American woman to host a TV show? Sting. <laughs> God dang it, you're right. Oh, it was Oprah, man. It was Oprah. All right, so, okay. Um, just name some Slipknot albums. Red Jumpsuit. Uh, Grey Chapter. Disaster Pieces. Uh, Iowa. You got it, my All friend. Right. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. Have a good sake. Leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos that come directly from you. Right down in the comment section. <clears throat> and today, it's time to step into the snare and mingle with the maggots because it's Slipknot Saturday. It's Slipknot Saturday, Smokey. Mm -hmm. Now, this song has been requested so much. Mm. So much. Mm. Now, I want to say this is our final song off of Iowa. You would think. It's the title track. Yes. My is it final on the track listing? God dang it, do I look that up? Do I look that uh, up? Maybe it may actually give us some insight. Okay, let's see. I, yeah. Because I, I, I rem vividly remember, uh, let's see, Slipknot Iowa track listing. I remember vividly a lot of comments. Let's see. Uh, yes, it is. Oh, nice. Yes, nice. it is. But one thing I remember, I, I just can't get the comment pictures out of my headers people are saying that this might be one of Slipknot's most disturbing songs ever, mm. ever. Mm. wow more than scissors huh that's you know I was thinking about it dude there really aren't many other than like scissors or yeah you know there's a few more that are really graphic but there really aren't many Slipknot songs that are like dude that's that's disturbing yeah I mean a lot yeah. of it's just you know, it's just mental anguish and, and sticking it to the man. Yeah. Yeah, and being an outcast. What could this be about, though? I don't know. But for the maggots and the trash talkers to say, look, y'all, y'all want some disturbing? And for some reason, it came, it, when we, it was during the uh, Trash Talkers podcast when we had brought up that one of the most disturbing songs that we yeah. heard was Daddy by Corn. Oh, yeah. They were like, wait till you hear Iowa. Really? And in my head, I'm like, wait, that's. So that's what an happened album. in Iowa? Is this a true event that happened? Uh, Something from their childhoods? You, is, you mm. thinking that's where we're going with it? Maybe. Smoke up! What up? Let's get it. Let's do it! I don't know why, but the images of children of the corn is getting in my head for some. I don't know why. Yeah. Have us 
listening to this morning. i 
or a bad trip? I don't know. That was pretty intense, man. To be as subtle sounding and laid back, that was an intense ride right there, man. Uh huh. It's like like the journey into the mind of a madman. That's what I was waiting on you to say. Or, or the mind of a serial killer almost. Yeah, that could be also. It, but you remember he in the song he's all right, first of all, are you are we thinking the same thing? Are you thinking he's per, all right, so here's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. He says I will kill you to love you. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I do want to read some of these lyrics back, but it's like he's chasing someone that he just wants to love. He said, it's over now. Relax. So it's almost like, hey, and maybe I've watched too many murder mysteries and serial killer documentaries thanks to this guy right here, <laughs> but maybe he finally got someone that he's been chasing mm -hmm. and had to do some horrific things to do it. And now that you got it, this person's gone and it's over now, yeah. but I can still love you while you're here. I want to. Do you mind bringing up the lyrics? Absolutely. I want to hear the first part of that back, his first lyrics, because it almost sounds like this is him going crazy and mad while burying a victim. Oh, because of the dirt part? Yes. Okay, he says, relax, it's over. You belong to me. I'll fill your mouth with dirt. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Relax, it's over. You can never leave. I take your second digit with me, love. What's your second digit? Yeah. I guess it's your index yeah. finger, right? Or would it be the the middle finger? Depends on which one do you count first. The but are, are we counting these as digits? What if digits could be limbs? I take your maybe this your first digit. Maybe this is your second digit. Uh, you would think limbs rather than digits, right? Yeah, I would I would say so. I think they got the name digits from people counting on their fingers. fingers yeah, you know? I'm sure. But hold on, I do want to read the second part. It says, "You are my first I can barely breathe. I find you fascinating. You are my favorite. Lay you down to sleep. It's all that I can do to stop. Love. It, dude, I'm sorry. It just sounds like he went into the mind of either a, and this don't remind you of a serial killer at all that like just had one person and then probably got caught off the, that first person. Oh, if it was only one, it wouldn't be a serial killer. Though. Good point. What is it? Three to be considered? Yeah, a lot of people do say three. Some people say it could actually be two, but they really need three to get that profile. And you, and I, you don't, 
you don't get this because I know you know a lot of those those people those, or you know a lot about that those type of people like you're not getting any vibes of like a uh, of a certain one that this could be about yeah I mean, not right off hand I don't think there's enough detail to really tell uh, I can't think of one right off hand that specifically collected a finger from his victims I will say the maggots were right dude this this is probably their one of their most disturbing yeah, songs yeah it really is yeah I mean, dude, I'm not trying to compare here. Maggots, please don't, please don't come after me for this. But what do you, what, what song came first, this or Daddy? You think? If you had to take a guess. Oh, I will guess Daddy, because I think Daddy was in the mid '90s. Do you think Corey took any inspiration for that? Because think about it. Remember that long end part at Daddy? Oh yeah, yeah. He was like, "Ah, I like." Then he speaks, "Stuff, stuff." Yeah, yeah. And then. I mean, you got just a song where you know the music is softly playing while the lyricist, the vocalist, is just getting out everything that he has in him at yeah. that point. Yeah, you don't think he drew any inspiration. Kind of that. cathartic in the end. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I can, I'm pretty sure Corey listened to you know Corn back oh, in the day. Oh yeah, I'm sure. And, yeah. and Daddy's a big song by Corn. Yeah. I'm not comparing the songs to the two, but the structure of this song, yeah. I can see it. Yeah, I can see that yeah, there could be some inspiration from that. Yeah. Dang it, maggots! Now we can't wait to read the comments. Oh, I know. We want to know like if if there's any backstory behind it because it was a disturbing song. Yeah. But I think you guys are gonna have to put this last piece of puzzle together and yeah, tell exactly. us exactly what's going yeah. on here. Why did he kill her? Or love? Was it even a her? It never specifically says. It could. What? But it, he did oh. say he was in love with the person, right? He did said he ever say her? Times. Did he ever like name a gender? And I don't think so. Like what Not if that I heard. What if he's talking about Iowa? What if the name of the song's Iowa? How could that be related to Iowa? I mean, maybe the part where he's from is I dude, I don't know. I mean, unless it's a metaphor for him like getting out of his hometown. Dude, not one part where he names a specific entity. Yeah. It's just, do you see? Do you? I, don't I mean, it could be a metaphor, though. It really could be. It could be about him, like, burying his past. Very well much could be. Yeah. And maggots and trash talkers, we're going to leave it in your guys' hand mm-hmm. and let us know. So please leave them down in the comment section. You guys know that, know that we're very active down there, and we can't wait to see what you guys think the song's about. And why you think it's one of their most disturbing, please let us know. Yeah. Also, let us know what's next by Slipknot for next, sli- next Slipknot Saturday. And with that being said, my name is Behringer Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry Smoggy Ramirez Cowboy. And we are over and out. Deuces. Deuces. We want to thank you guys for tuning in to Slipknot Saturday and allowing us to mingle with the maggots. If you want to check out last week's Slipknot Saturday, it's going to be right over here. If you want to check out another artist that we've covered, it's going to be right over here. Thank you guys so much. We are really enjoying this Slipknot Saturday. We will see you next week. Deuces.